Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the render for the an architect. On the market you will find a lot of different renders and sometimes you not understand which is will be best for your case. And this tutorial is mostly for you because uh, I will cover all these topics. You will see the price, you will see what the renders can do and you will can create your own decision. So if you are ready for this tutorial, let's get started. And yes, we are not talking about GPU, we will talk only about the renders on the market. I will start from Corona Render. 1 minute setup time, higher quality realistic renders in incredible short time interactive renders that allow you to tweak everything in the scene and see the live update, good basic materials, excellent shaders displacement and realistic shaders options, a good library of PBR materials and the great pricing. That's what I can say simply and shortly about the Corona render. I like the ability to quickly preview a scene and test the lighting. Materials are intuitive and easy to create. I enjoy having a fever of futures adjustment, which can quickly lead to, to frustration and the scene overwhelming for the novice users. But the one baddest thing, the final render speed can be lethargic and slow, even on pretty well specified machine. And one more most important thing for the new users, the user interface was easily to use, for the first time user friendly. As a conclusion, I wanna say you can choose the Corona render if you wanna render the, your interior project or exterior project. It's easy to use, it's, uh, you don't need to spend a lot of the time to understand how to work with the Corona. And you can get this trial version for the 45 days. This is pretty nice thing. V-Ray, this is industry standard. Top studios around the world rely on V-Ray every day, visualized world-class products, buildings and visual effects. It's very powerful, flexible and easy to learn, thanks to intuitive interface. If you are looking for uh, specific settings or function, V-Ray gives you everything what you need, such as caustic or advanced composing tools. A powerful render engine uh, that doesn't need CUDA drivers since uh, it allows you work with the CPU and GPU. Very realistic, every without any materials or texture apply on solids. Since you put a simple area light in your scene, it already seems be real. This tool is so powerful that allows you render from the small scenes to the longest roads. Right now you can get 30 days uh, free trial version of the V-Ray and you can try to use. If you are a student you can get the cheaper version, education version of the V-Ray and officially you can use the V-Ray. And don't forget one thing, V-Ray is still one of the top render engine on the market. Lumen is architecture software, makes in images, uh, videos and 360 panorama, which is you can view in VR glasses. Render ultra fast, make changes all the time, upload the 3D uh, from the Revit, SketchUp, Rhino, ArchitoCut and many other 3D modeling programs and upload your design into the Lumen. Lumen includes a large library with beautiful materials and objects. Dress up your model with sky, gla grass, glass, materials, people, lighting, furniture, cars and other things. Also this including the effects. Fill the space uh, and easy to learn. With the Lumen anyone can make the beautiful renders. Lumen do not uh, have the trial version, you should uh, connect with the local partners and maybe they will give you the uh, trial version. And uh, Lumen also don't have the student version, right now they are doing something with that, but uh, in this moment we don't have the student version.
Twinmotion is a real-time impressive 3D architecture visualization tool for efficiently producing higher quality images, panoramas and standard or 360 VR video quickly without long render times. Twinmotion combines an easily to use interface with the power the Unreal Engine 4. It's available for both Mac and PC. Twinmotion is also the great stepping stone for the Unreal Engine environment. And the future, we hope, there is directly linked between Twinmotion and Unreal Engine 4. Right now we have this link, so if you create something in the Twinmotion, you can easily transfer it to the Unreal Engine to get more realistic, more realistic scene. Epic itself now claiming that Twinmotion is number one real-time real rendering solution used in both architecture and production, and the number one of the rendering solution being tested in the all aspects of different creating, creative industries. True it or not, only you will answer on this question. Twinmotion is totally free if you are not using the commercial license, so it will be totally free for you. And this is also the good experience if you want to transfer your model to the Unreal Engine and you want to get more realistic render. So the Twinmotion is a great base program. Enscape is an intuitive design tool. It requires no prior specialized knowledge to use. You can design, document and visualize simply from the one model. It's the easiest way and fastest way to use uh, the, and turn your building model into the impressive 3D experience. Bring your design to life and give your clients a design experience like never before. Enscape also allow, uh, allows work with like workflow. For example, you can uh, use the Enscape to find uh, some problems in your model. You can uh, create issues and and give to your um, clients or may for example to your colleagues and uh, it creates like new level to workflow in the 3d model also the nicest things uh, what we have today in Enscape you can create standalone render of your building and for example you can give this standalone uh, render to the, your client and if your client can walk through inside your model the nicest thing if you are a student you can get for the 24 months free version. You just need to uh, only submit your documents like you are a student. And the render quality of the, mm, the Enscape this is pretty well. It's around between Lumion and V-Ray. D5 Render is a GPU um, rendering software based on the Unreal Engine and the NVIDIA RTX technologies as well as uh, the hardware architecture of the new generation of the Turing RTX graphics card. With the self-development real GI and the video noise reduction algorithm plus and hybrid real-time rendering pipeline, D5 Render is set to unleash the high performance potential of RTX graphic cards, bringing designers and creative experience like never before. The interactive rendering process has never been this easiest, making it possible for the unprecedented RTX real-time rendering workflow for the architect. D5 Render, this is something like the Unreal Engine in one way and in the other way you're getting something like a Lumion or the Twinmotion. So D5 Render it's not so hard to learn and in the end you're also getting really nice uh, rendering quality. But don't forget if you wanna use the RTX technologies your graphic card also should have the RTX. So if you don't have RTX graphic card you not will get all the experience from D5 Render. In the end, D5 Render is totally free, but if you want to get the Pro version, of course you should pay. But uh, if you want, don't want to use the Pro version, it's totally free. And the uh, one minus, so I can find, you should get RTX uh, video card to get hold powerful of D5 Render. The last one I should mention the Blender. 
Blender, this is open source program. Blender, it's not only about the rendering. Actually, the Blender, it's mostly about the 3D modeling. But the Blender also have the really nice render engine, which is can give you the nice experience with photorealistic result. The Blender can create incredible things like visual effects, even the video making. So the Blender, I think it's mostly for the users who have the time and for the users who don't want to pay money at all. If you like that, if you have the time, just go on to the Blender and you will get really nice result. And the community of the Blender is really big and they trying to help you to all the stages. So the Blender is nice solution, but it's a really time killer. In the end, I wanna say, uh, as you can see, I just compare like some uh, additional things, uh, what I think like easy to use or requirements for your PC. I no wanna make like best of the render for from this uh, top of from my top. Actually, all the renders what you found in my video, this is what we have on the market by 2021. So try all these renders, find your own way. You have, uh, you now understand which is uh, type of the render we have on the market, and only the thing what you need, just try it and uh, understand is it yours or not. And uh, if you want, you can share with your opinion below the comments. Also, don't forget one more thing: if I forgot some renders, uh, I have the other topics, for example, like top three renders, and I have also the uh, previous topic about the renders for an architect from the last year. This topic it's mostly uh, we are concentrating which type of the render we have for the architect. The end, please guys, if you are an, an artist, I understand we have uh, a lot of the things like redshift and the other things. I'm not looking on this one because the architects uh, mention only in one thing. This is speed rendering. We need to really spend uh, as less time as we can to get as much result as we can. So, uh, if you know the renders really much faster than I require today, leave them below the comments. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.